guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always calling whenever i call so this is going to be my first vlogmas video and i'm going to be showing you guys how to bleach your closure knots on this my love me hair it's a five by five closure wig that i received from love me hair and i'm going to be showing you guys how i bleach it the next video is going to be an in-depth review of this hair but in this hair video i'm just going to be bleaching the knots so you can see it's a wide closure it measures five by five and it comes moderately customized so you're going to need these instruments just a bowl to mix in a brush i couldn't find 30 developers so i had to get 40 that was all they had at the store then i bought bleach and sachets this is approximately one teaspoon of bleach each but i'm going to be using just one so i saw a tiktok where a girl she used developer first be alone before going in with the bleach so that's what i'm going to be doing um first of all i'm going to spray my roots with got to be glue so that the bleaching process doesn't get too far inside the hair like too far farther than i wanted it to get far into the hair so i'm just covering that evenly and i will let that dry So while that is drying, I'll go ahead and pour a bit of developer into the bowl. Now I'm going to be using the developer first before the bleaching powder like I mentioned earlier. And I just wanted to say, like the world has evolved so much that you can literally learn how to do anything in a 30 second TikTok. Like TikTok is such a blessing to us. I'm completely a beginner at this and her video really helped me. So there's also some DIY in this video. I don't have foil, so I'm going to be using um, plastic, the plastic bag. So now I'm just taking the developer alone and I'm starting from the back to apply on the lace. This will help to prepare the lace for the bleach that I'm about to put on it. You're supposed to go from the back to the front, but I made a mistake. So I'm going back to cover the back evenly before I go to the front. And I like to go a bit farther ahead than the hairline when I'm bleaching. So I'm just showing you guys how I cover the lace with the developer. Then I will leave it for about 10 minutes according to the TikTok before I rinse it off with warm water. But you can use any, any temperature, I guess. But I'm going to use warm water. so this is after i have rinsed out the developer you can see how it looks i feel it's a little bit bleached just a little bit we are down to the powerful stuff now i'm trying to mix my bleach paste so each sachet translates to approximately one tablespoon of bleach and i'm going to try to achieve a toothpaste consistency with my um, developer 40 developer i'm just eyeballing it as best as i can if i needed more i was going to go in with more so this is just me mixing it to a toothpaste paste consistency i didn't want it to run me so it doesn't seep through my lace so i'm going to apply the same way i applied the developer starting from the back just in case i make any mistakes starting from the back i'll try to cover as evenly as i can i'm not applying too much pressure i'm just lightly painting it on like lightly painting it on no pressure at all then i try to take the bleach a little bit further ahead than the hairline just to help with the customization process now i'm going to cover it with my plastic wrap since i don't have foil and i'm going to leave it for 20 minutes now this is me when i'm done bleaching i didn't have purple shampoo so i tried to use purple acrylic but that so didn't guys, work i wanted to tell you that i wasn't satisfied with the purple acrylic color so i went out and i bought actual purple but this time i bought purple conditioner it's from shimmer lights it's a purple conditioner so i put it all over the hair including the lace and this is what it's looking like pardon me um yeah 
so this is what it's looking like so long story short my little hack didn't work i prefer the blonde highlights now so i'll dry it and show you guys how it looks